Hi, this is Ed Turkel. I'm the manager of HTC Marketing for Hewlett Packard. I'd like to welcome you here to SE10 and to the HP booth. So the significance of, of the Zubami 2 system and having a system in the top five of the top 500, this is really important for us and for the industry. Not only any customer who delivers a system with a sustained petaflop of performance is in itself an achievement. But working together with our partners, uh, NEC, who helped us design the system, and delivering with multiple partners providing technology, we've delivered a system with not only top five of the top 500 list, but top five that fits into a very, very small data center footprint and a very, very small power footprint. But it's unique in delivering a number of HPC-specific, sort of purpose-built technologies into a standard package available to everybody but implemented at Tsubami 2 in a very large system. The new HP ProLiant SL390S G7, which you see behind me, is a new integrated server that combines Intel Xeon processors, Mellanox ConnectX, InfiniBand, and NVIDIA GP GPUs in an integrated solution delivering a teraflops of, of Linpack performance per server. So Georgia Tech and Oak Ridge National Labs working on a uh, NSF phase two program, were really interested in investigating the use of GPU based computing as a next generation approach to delivering very, very high performance. So the Keeneland program is basically to deliver a phase one program to deliver an initial GPU based solution that'll let them to start porting codes, looking at scientific research that they can use using GPU based systems which will then move into a phase two system, we hope later this year, and hopefully a petaflop system coming down the line as a phase three. So we're getting a lot of questions of, of how SL fits within our overall strategy with blades and so on. We've been enormously successful with the HP blade system. It is still the number one system on the top 500 list that came out just this morning um, with 140, 140 blades on the top 500 list, making it the single most popular system on the list. Very focused delivering those into HPC. But we found that there was a set of customers, particularly at the very high end, who needed a set of capabilities, ultra high energy efficiency, very high density, the ability to incorporate GP GPUs that drove us to develop a totally new system targeted specifically for those very high-end customers. A few years ago, we found that customers were coming to us with another set of requirements, particularly for the very high end of HPC, where they needed extreme power efficiency, extreme density, and also needed the flexibility of incorporating things like GPGPUs into our solutions. We basically started from a clean piece of paper and designed a new system specifically for those purposes, and that's the SL system. So this is an interesting year for technology here at, at SE10. A lot of new technology being shown by many vendors. We think the most important thing is really the balance of computing power as delivered by standard CPUs as per the Xeon CPUs and the SL390S, as well as GP GPUs in a hybrid computing environment. But we think that the addition to that of the focus on power efficiency, space efficiency, is becoming critically, critically important for all of our HPC customers and is a big change as we go forward. We're exci very excited about the two Reader's Choice Awards this year. We thank HPC Wire and all of the readers who voted for us and we'll hope that we'll see you not only here at uh, Supercomputing 2010, but at uh, the ISC meeting come June in uh, Germany and certainly in Seattle next year.